This morning we're at the Worthington Open Pit Diamond Mine located less than a half mile from southwest Arkansas's famous Crater of Diamond State Park. Mac is using his skid steer to haul the clay out of the pit that we're digging and he's marking the edge of the lamperite intrusion. Everything from that clay path to the right that you see all the way down to that bright marker and then all the way up this line with the trees is lamperite for our mine on our property. It's about one acre. We have 10 acres here at the Worthington Diamond Mine but one acre of lamperite and it's deep so we'll never run out but I'm uh, digging clay on the other side of this is the wall of the intrusion the side of the funnel and I'm using the excavator to dig clay out of the other side and Mac is hauling the clay out and getting rid of it for us and when we're all done we will have a trench here so that it will drain when it rains I don't want to waste time and fuel pumping water out when we can fix it to where it will gravity drain naturally. I want to show you what we've got here. So as I said, the volcanic intrusion is on the left and this is the contact zone with the clay. This is some interesting black manganese and iron. It's uh, gothite limonite. Uh, Post-volcanic mineralization makes that black like that. But uh, we have clay here to the left. I don't want to dig too close because this is lamperite right here and I don't want to tear it up. I want to study it better and I want to get in here maybe with a shovel or a pick and just peel it and get back and expose the lamperite wall. So we'll work on that more later. I'm just getting close to the lamperite now. I want to show you what I find interesting. You may not, but <laughs> I do. Um, the different color rings in this clay fascinates me. Uh, this is really a deep red that looked like it would make good pottery. But this is still a soft, kind of a wet feeling gooey clay. Um, it, it's not baked, I guess is my point. It's not like uh, pottery. And you would think coming clay that close to liquid rock with the intrusion you would think it would be baked like pottery but it's not it's soft so anyway that's one thing we're learning soft clay molding clay you could make something out of that but i'm not going to but isn't this interesting how you have the different colors of clay and it, it could be different clays different minerals in there but i think it has to do with the temperature of the intrusion of the volcano next to us but uh, we'll get a geologist in here to give his opinion and let us know uh, this is a route uh, this used to be a forest here and uh, there are indications that the trees sent down roots to get moisture but we uh, plan to continue this wide trench here wide and deep trench we plan to continue it all the way back there close to that stump uh, that's near our property line that fence is our property line and we'll get to about where that yellow bucket is sitting on the stump and just uh, see what we got and get to some professors of geology in here to give their opinion of uh, what we've got and we'll get a closer look so kind of exciting times I just want to show you how how things were looking so far. It, uh, it's going to get hot here today. Heat index of 107 is forecast because of the heat and humidity here in southwest Arkansas. But we, I left home at 615, got here and started digging at 715, and we plan to dig till 1115, so four hours of work. We can move a lot of material with two pieces of equipment in four hours. But then we're going to quit and uh, retreat to the air conditioning and attack it again some other morning. But we'll have a lot more work to do here.